Guess we just got here, guys. Let's go check it out. The drop kit, yes, sir. They told me it was gonna get here in three weeks, but I literally ordered it three days ago. It's already here. A huevo sponsor, y'all better hit them up. Yes, sir, guys. So we're about to install it in this truck. Maybe tomorrow, cause today I'm kind of busy. New radio on the way, huh? No. Okay, that's radio. Look, we need a TV. Little radio. Yes, sir. Ah, Leo gave up already, huh? It's weird. Huh? The kit didn't fit in our truck, so we're gonna go to another place. We're in the Lightning. Yes, sir. Look, se acelera solo. Anda. I'm like Diva, look at this truck, it's so badass from the inside. Yeah. It's badass. Got the gauges. 50 roll. So my hair is currently wiring up the harness. We tried to buy the, the kit. We're just gonna cut this because it needs to be a, a double din and a single din. And then we couldn't find the exact kit to fit this year's truck. So we had to order a new dash bezel. It also comes with uh, these type of clips right here. It just slides back in. So yeah, guys, so I just ordered it. It should come in like in a few days. We should be good to go in a bit. But right now, I'm just gonna finish wiring this up. Aquí andamos en la pussy wagon, no más. Where's the AK? Hey, with that one, but watch out, cause... You go first, cause you already know how to do it. Pero hasta allá, wey. Pa que si rebota, rebota. Espérate, espérate, espérate. Let me, espérate, let me, let me go. This side. How right, go? Rebota. All right, let me go next. Hey, she hit the target, you stupid. Se voy a rechinar un cuerno. También una super cuarta. Una R15. Alright guys, re resuming the other day's video, I ended up having to order the whole bezel, like I told you. Uh, it just came in. I'm about to show it to you right now. But right now, I'm just gonna tape these up real quick because these weren't the best ones to use. It's better to use the ones that come together at one point so they can tie in better. I do not recommend these, but I'm just gonna tape them up. I could have cut it, but I don't have anything to cut it with. Wired everything. <laughs> it kind of looks ugly, but since I don't really like these type of pins or whatever they're called for just more security, I just went ahead and taped all of them, might as well. So whenever I jam it back in there, it, they don't come loose. These were the extra wires. <clears throat> the ones I didn't need, I went ahead and taped them off just so they could be together nice and neat. I went ahead and taped these off for the system too. So it could be less of a mess in there. All I gotta do is connect that harness to this one, which I've already done. It's already turned on. And I gotta connect this radio one to this main one right here, which is radio. So these are the little brackets that come with the kit. This is what I was missing the other day. They go on the side of this and you just slide it in. I'm gonna do a test fit right now. So it comes with the USB. So I'm gonna have to wire them down here or somewhere, but they have like an opening right here. So I'm gonna be able to do that. the radio guys imagine i broke the screen no we're still good all right so i already got the holes i got these wires underneath you can see right there both these wires in one's for the apple carplay and then one's for the charging either way the apple carplay charges is all i'm gonna use but for someone else the extra one just connect it right there i'm not gonna connect anything yet because i still have to take it out check out the new dash i had to order this you see this one compared to this other one Look, compared to this one, that din is bigger than this one. So this is called a single din, this is called a double din. So yeah, it's a little bit different material, but I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and get the whole thing wrapped in leather. I went ahead and added the screws right here. Well, not screws, but the pop-in pins to fit. Gonna have to lower the steering wheel a bit. 
to get this piece on, you have to put it in gear. Test fit. All right, guys, so that's good how it's gonna look. It looks pretty nice. So I got the harness on from the side. Let's see if finally this is how it's supposed to go. Let's see if it's a good fit. Let's find out. So it's on right there. Pretty secure. It looks like it went in. It looks clean. Jeez. Now I gotta connect it. I don't know if I needed these, but it didn't line properly with that, with the side ones. But this kit is meant just to need this and the little pins that it has on the sides, the sliding one, because they all came together. It looks good. The only thing is that it is smaller for the sides. You can tell the difference. It looks good though. Let's get it connected and I'll show y'all right now the aftermath. All I need to do is connect it, make sure it's working properly. Now you gotta make sure the connections are good. The antenna one first, the main harness. That's connected. So let's make sure it turns on real quick. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> it's installed. Now let's hear it with the cold start. Now that it turned on, I'm gonna show you all the features that it has. The Apple CarPlay, the tuner. So right here, the tuner. Has Bluetooth hands-free. Apple CarPlay, just like this. And now that it's being connected, the CarPlay starts working. This is what I really want to show you all. three headed. I've always wanted to have CarPlay on my phone. This is freaking cool. I like this a lot. You can go to the maps and it looks super cool. Look, my phone already knows where I'm gonna go later on today. But yeah, look at this. I really like this feature. This is the only reason I got this radio because of the CarPlay. It looks really cool. Look, voicemails, contacts. You know, it looks badass. Hope y'all like the installation. Then you go right here back to boss systems. And then you can add a camera, which I'll probably add in the future. Not right now. It was pretty cheap, guys. I had to went to Car Toys to buy this whole setup. And they were going to charge me $700. So I didn't do it because I knew there was a cheaper way. I actually went and bought the same radio that I was going to buy at Walmart for $150. There was a lot of them. Obviously, that was a no-brainer. I went ahead and bought it. The kit itself, they said it was like $370 at eBay. Got it shipped in two days. The radio, $150. This, $70. Bucks. Plus uh, the harness and everything. I ended up spending $200 at Walmart and it's $70. Bucks. So $700 compared to $270. I'll take that any day. So yeah, guys, this is going to be a cheap mod that you could do. Air house, pretty good quality. I don't really care about the price. I don't care if y'all say, I don't know if Boss is a good brand. It looks pretty good to me. It has everything that I wanted to have. I don't care if it was cheap. As long as it looks good and I'm happy with it. Look at the overall setup. Look at this truck. It's coming along really nicely. All right, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching the video comment down if you like the new stereo setup drop a like if you like how it looks because i certainly do like it it looks pretty clean to me i'm gonna start vlogging all these things that i do i'm gonna start showing out more of rapping and everything that i do in my daily life just so i can show y'all how i live and what i like but that's gonna be it for today's video guys thank you so much for the support don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace